Hello everyone, this is Dr. Richard Applin and I'm with Willa today. We're going to do a demonstration. We've had so many people ask us about breathing and breathing is one of the most critical things that you can do because here's the big key. Breathing is a manual override and we can use that to put the brakes on our defense system. And so when I explain the breathing, most people say, well, I breathe fine, I breathe every day. Well, yes, you may, but the problem is, is that when you breathe, you can either stimulate your defense system or you can activate your recovery system. And so we're gonna talk about the three different positions that we need to work in to breathe properly. And Willa has been gracious enough to uh, offer herself as an example. And so what I want you to do, Willa, is I want you to just breathe in like you see most people do. So when they breathe in, what happens? If you notice, I'm gonna bring the focus in a little bit. You can see that breathe in again, and out. In one more time. And you can see the chest lift and fall when she breathes. And by breathing this way, you're actually stimulating your defense system because you're using your neck muscles to lift your collarbone and your chest. So a more appropriate way to breathe would be not breathe with your chest, but breathe with your stomach. As you can see, let's do that. Breathe all the way out and breathe all the way in. Notice that her belly is rising and her belly falls, but you don't see the chest or the shoulders move when she breathes in. Now, you can explain this to people and they lay down and they can't do it. <laughs> and so there's a real simple little biofeedback device that most people have lying around their house. Now, they may not have this device, but they may have something comparable. So what we're gonna be using is a candy jar, all right? So now, yummy. yeah, yummy. So with this candy jar, we're gonna put it on her stomach and then she's gonna hold her hands on top and what this does is it gives a little bit more information to your brain as to what you really want to accomplish. And so when you breathe in, you wanna see the candy jar go up, so do that. And then as you breathe out, you want the candy jar to go down. Very good, one more time, really big. And all the way out. Thank you very much. Now, Willa, here's what I want you to do. I want you to sit up. Right. And we're gonna try the same thing. Now, most people think, well, I, I learned how to breathe lying down. I could, be, I could do it sitting, I could do it standing. Well, that's not really true. Yeah. Because if you think about, there's more information going to your brain right now because you're using posture muscles to sit. So it's a little bit more difficult to isolate that maneuver. And so most people, when they breathe in sitting, what do they do? Their neck tenses up and their chest lifts. But what we want you to do is we want you to breathe with your stomach. So we want your stomach to come out and go in. Come out and go in. Again, if you need a little bit more feedback, what I want you to do is take that, you can use the candy jar, you can use pretty much anything, but I want you to hold it against your stomach and I want you to breathe in and feel that pressure and breathe out and feel it go in. As you breathe in, your stomach goes out. As you breathe out, your stomach goes in. It's really that simple. And then once you have achieved that, you're gonna to move to a standing position. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And we're gonna to try to do the exact same thing. So breathe in and out. Again, in and out. Now again, most people when they go from a sitting position, they assume that they can do it standing and again, that is not really true. You have to, exactly. It takes training to be able to do this. Now the interesting thing about breathing, if you look at any animal or if you look at any baby or any child up to about five or six years of age, they always breathe with their stomach, always. When they get scared or upset, they breathe with their neck and their shoulders. And so the question is, is when did we stop breathing with our stomach? Well, it doesn't matter when you stopped, you can actually regain this, and this is one of the tools that we use. This is a powerful tool, and I want you to practice this. This is something that everyone should be doing, because the big problem that we see in this world is that the majority of people are just wound way too tight. 
And so we can use breathing as a tool to relax our nervous system, to calm down our bodies, and actually to stimulate our recovery system. So thank you, Willa. I appreciate it. And you guys work on this, and I'll see you next time you come in. Bye. Bye.